Hello everyone. Today we will design an irrigation canal using Cotter's formula. The given question is design an irrigation canal to carry 50 meter cube per second of discharge. The canal is to be laid at a slope of 1 in 4000. The CVR critical velocity ratio for the soil is 1.1 and N equals 0 0.23. So the canal formed will be as the trapezoidal canal where this is the width B this is y this is also y depth and this one is y by 2 and y by 2 so let's start on solving this first we'll carry out the given data that is q equals 50 meter cube per second s equals 1 in 4000 m equals 1.1 and n equals 0 0.02 3 so using formula p naught equals 0 0.55 m dot y power 0 0.64 now let us consider y equals 2 meter depth that is y equals 2 meter so using the value of y on this equation p naught equals 0 0.55 dot m is 1.1 and y is 2 power 0 0.64 on solving this the velocity will be 0 0.942 meter per second and now we know area equals q by v it not equals the 50 is divided by 0 0.942 equals 53.1 meter square again on assuming mm, side slope of 1 by 2 h is to 1 v so area of traffic is equal y times of b plus y by 2 that is the value of y a is 53.1 equals y is considered as 2 times b is considered as b and the value of y is 2 by 2 is 1 on solving this the b equals 25.55 meter now perimeter p equals b plus 2 root over 1 plus 1 by 4 times of y equals b plus 2 root over 5 by 2 y equals the value of b is 25.55 plus root of 5 into 2 equals 30.03 so the hydraulic radius r equals a by p equals 53.1 is divided by 30.03 equals 1.77 meter now on using the cooter's formula that is b equals 1 by n plus 23 plus 0 0.00155 s is divided by 1 plus 23 plus 0.00155 s times of n by root over r whole times of root over s on placing the value of all this on this that is 1 by 0 0.023 plus 23 plus 0.00155 is divided by the value of s is 1 in 4000 is whole divided by 1 plus 23 plus 0 0.00155 is divided by 1 in 4000 times of the value of r is 1.77 whole root the value of s is 1 by 4000 on solving this the value city will be 1.016 meter per 
second which is greater than v naught that is 0 0.942 meter per second in this case we have to increase the critical velocity v naught for that we have to increase the depth So let's take y equals 3 meter. So again we have to repeat all the steps. B naught equals 0 0.6053 power 0 0.64 equals 1.2 meter per second. Area equals 50 is divided 1.22 equals 40.8 meter square in a equals y times of b plus y by 2 equals of 40.8 equals 3 b plus 3 by 2 on solving this the value of b will be 12.1 meter now P equals 12.1 plus 2 root over 5 is divided by 2 equals 18.82 and hydraulic radius R equals A by P equals 2.17 now V equals 43.5 plus On solving this, the value will be 1.16 meter per second, which is less than 1.22. That is, V is less than V naught. So, have to reduce depth. Let's y equals. 2.5 meter then again we have to repeat the process in our previous way that is v naught equals 0 0.605 into 2.5 power 64 mm. and area equals 50 is divided 1.087 equals 46 so again area equals 46 equals 2.5 times of b plus 2.5 by 2 from this we will calculate the b that is b equals 17.15 meter now we will calculate the perimeter p p equals 17.15 plus root over 5 into 2.5 equals 22.73 and hydraulic radius r equals a by p equals 4 by 22.73 equals 2.02 and the velocity v equals 72.7 7 is divided by 1 plus 29.2 into 0 On solving this, the result will be 1.1 meter per second, which is greater than 1.087. That is, that is v is greater than v naught. This value is greater than this value. So again, we have to increase the depth and repeat all the steps as we have done above.
repeat all this step until the value of v is equals to v naught when the value of v is equals to v naught the assumed depth is the final one and which is the required depth for the given condition so this much for today we will come again with one new video till then keep on watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe us and if you have any concern related to water related subject please comment us in our comment section and thank you for this time